If you're struggling with discomfort in the temporomandibular joint, TMJ, or know someone who is, you're watching the right video. In this video, I'm going to teach you a very easy energy healing technique to reduce muscle tension and inflammation in the TMJ area. Afterwards, I'll teach some easy and effective massage techniques you can do to relieve tension in the muscles primarily associated with TMJ discomfort. Let's get started. First off, what is TMD, or temporomandibular joint dysfunction? In the most common scenario, TMD is caused by the articulating disc of the joint getting displaced. TMD sufferers are well versed with the pain, but thankfully most people respond very well to the techniques that will follow. We are specifically targeting the most common form of TMD. And as always, if you have any doubts whatsoever, please by all means consult a qualified healthcare practitioner. The first technique we'll use involves energy healing. If you're a newcomer and are not yet familiar with the concept of running energy, click the video here, watch it, and then come back. It's easy to learn and I'll be sure to wait for you. So now that we all know how to run energy, I'll preface this section by saying that we're going to do everything from the basis of a gentle 4-4 breath. The 4-4 breath is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's a breath that has an inhalation of a count of four, followed by an exhalation of a count of four. On each inhalation, imagine your body filling up with healing life force energy. We draw in energy from the earth through the soles of our feet and down from the cosmos through the crown chakra at the top of our head. If you think of a pipe running from the crown chakra all the way down your body to the perineum, that's your central channel. Our aim is to collect our energy in the central channel, let it settle, and at the top of our exhalation, we're going to root that energy down our arms and out the palm of our hands at the Lao Gung point. That's our palm chakra, and it's one of the places on the body where we exchange an awful lot of energy with the world around us. As for our hands, there are typically two positions we'll use, and which one you use depends entirely on which you prefer. For the first position, we'll simply use a soft, flat-palmed touch of the hands on either side of the TMJ, like so. Some people really like this because the warmth of the hands offers a sense of relaxation, nurturing, and security. The other position is to make a sort of tripod shape using three or four fingers. In this case, it's again essential that we use a very light touch. We don't want any tension in our hands because energy flows more easily when we have a relaxed stance. When you use the tripod position, we're expressing energy out of the palm's inner Lao Gong point, and we can think of the fingers of the tripod acting as a lens to focus the energy into the tissue and bone below the fingers. I tend to do things both ways, depending on whether I want a more directed penetration of energy into the tissue, using a tripod, or whether I'm going for a more diffuse pattern, using flat palms. You can run the energy all the way down from the temporal muscle above the temple, all the way down to the jawline. Take as long as you like and work on both sides of the face all the way down. Note the muscles you feel when you chew or clench. That's the masseter muscle and it is home to holding all kinds of stress. And behind it is the buccinator muscle that extends forward on the inside of the cheek. That too is a muscle that can hold a lot of stress. Okay, so here's a very important point. You may find that one side of your face is more tender than the other. While it might not seem obvious, we're actually going to spend more time on the opposite side of the face where it doesn't hurt so much. The body employs a lot of compensation loading when things aren't quite right. And it's common for a painful area to actually reflect a partner component instead of itself. So sure, we start off by working both sides up and down fully, but anytime we find more TMJ discomfort or muscle tenderness on one side of the face, we want to spend extra time working with that opposite side. Now let's discuss the massage techniques. You can do them on yourself or alternatively have a licensed body worker, physiotherapist, or chiropractor do these for you. Don't worry though, it's super easy. As with the energy healing section, we're going to massage down the face on both sides starting at the temporal muscle above the temple and go all the way down to the masseter and buccinator muscles. Also, as before, if you find one side hurting more than the other, spend more time on the side opposite the pain. Our goal is to resolve the excess tension being held in the muscles caused by their compensation. 
The type of massage you use really isn't all that important. Focus on what feels most comfortable, but be aware that it's likely to be quite tender. Don't overdo it with digging in. The goal here is to relieve tension, not cause more pain or create harm. I like massaging with the flat part of my fingers which spreads out the pressure and helps keep things less intense. This next technique is quite effective, but some folks might find it a little unsettling. Basically, we're going to stick our fingers in our mouth and push outwards to stretch the muscle that extends along the cheek. That's the buccinator muscle. If that idea bothers you, keep watching and I'll give you an alternative technique that you can use instead. Okay, so assuming our hands are clean, we want to take either a thumb or an index finger, whichever is most comfortable for you, first stick it along the cheek at the upper gum line. We're then going to gently push outwards and up, like so. The idea is to gently stretch out the buccinator muscle, not cause pain. Now we're going to follow up with a midline where the teeth meet. And then we're also going to follow up with the lower gum line where we press out and then down. Don't use excessive pressure. The idea is to gently stretch out the buccinator muscle and not cause pain. As before, we're going to do both sides. If one side of the face is more tender than the other, again, we're going to spend more time on the side opposite the pain. And for those of you for whom the idea of sticking your fingers in your mouth is less than appealing, here is that alternative I promised that should still help reduce some of the tension in those muscles. We're going to block all of the air into our mouth and we're going to puff out our cheeks. Yes, it's going to look silly. The idea is to puff out your cheeks just enough to get it feeling a little stretched and then we relax. Repeat that up to 10 times. Note that if there's one side that hurts more than the other, you can do stretches individually on either cheek rather than doing both at the same time. Next, we want to exercise the opposing muscles in the jaw. We've dealt with the muscles responsible for biting down, but we haven't yet done anything with the muscles we use for opening our mouth. By exercising the muscles that open our mouth, we can address potential imbalance in the biting down type muscles. This exercise is super simple, but I'm going to start off by saying very clearly, be gentle. Of all the times for you to go slow and be as careful and gentle as possible, this is it. The exercise amounts to closing your mouth and then putting your hands under your jaw. Then you gently try to open your jaw. If your TMD has been chronic, these muscles will almost assuredly be weak. That makes it very easy to cause yourself discomfort. As with any such techniques, if it hurts, stop immediately. In my case, this exercise almost immediately results in clicking in my TMJ. And as such, I only do a few reps and I'm extremely careful not to cause a major articulating disc dislocation. I also find it very helpful to not start with my teeth clenched, but to have my teeth ever so slightly parted. I would limit the number of repetitions here to say three sets of 10. Now if you've ever had to deal with the discomfort of tinnitus, be sure to watch this video next.